A neophile is someone who likes new ideas, even if those ideas are crap, and they often have an aversion to tradition. A neophobe is someone who has an aversion to new ideas and prefers older ideas by default. Ideas that they consider tried and true, even if they're crap. We need neophiles to come up with and promote newer ideas and to critique old ideas. And we need neophobes to critique, filter, and sometimes completely discard some of these newer ideas. We need liberals and conservatives. We need the left and the right. A lot of ideas that have become rather popular over the last decade or so, I mean especially since smartphones and social media, are utter trash. Trash. And very few liberals who have a chance of making a difference, who have a large voice, very few are calling out those ideas as the trash they really are. Except for maybe people like Bill Maher. And you know, a lot of these things that the neophobes have been fearmongering about have been overhyped and sensationalized, usually via right-wing propaganda. But unfortunately, perception is everything. If the public has the perception that the things that the neophobes have been fearmongering about are widespread, they're going to vote in a way that reflects that perception. It doesn't matter if their perception is wrong. The most important thing is their perception. The neophiles have been terrible at defending their ideas. Other than explain their positions like they would to children, they do no work whatsoever to try to change people's perceptions of those ideas. They usually call anyone who critiques those ideas something that ends in ist or phobic. Calling them those things is not an argument. Insulting them is not going to bring them to your side. Shaming them isn't going to do anything except make you feel better. It's not going to stop their views from spreading. Something that makes you feel better doesn't really do any good. Your feelings don't change reality. We have to deal with the reality of the public. And at least half the public has a problem with some of the things that are being promoted as important. It doesn't matter how right you are. It doesn't matter how right you think you are. Insulting people as being the absolute worst types of people imaginable, the worst names, isn't in your favor. Especially when those names have been said ad nauseum. The more you use those names that end in ist or phobic, the less meaning they actually have. People are starting to not care if you call them those names. And if it continues, more people will start to declare that they're actually proud of being those things. This is happening already. Just look at how Republicans and many others responded to being called Ultra MAGA. You saw it on t-shirts. You saw it on bumper stickers. People turned it around and used it as a slogan. The names aren't hurting a lot of them anymore. Many of them no longer care. What are you going to do when most of them no longer care how much you try to name call them or shame them? So again, a lot of the ideas that have come up over the last decade or so are utter trash. Trash. When the pendulum swings the other way, it's certainly going to take out the trash, but it's also going to take out things that we hold very dear. And we'll have to start over again from a much earlier period. It's going to suck for a lot of people. Unless some amazing things happen to the Democrats by 2024... We're going to watch the pendulum swing very hard to the right, and the Overton window is going to move with it. And I'm trying to mentally prepare for it. How about you?